Hello and welcome to this tutorial, my first ever one. So today I'm going to show you how to create a contact sheet in uh, Adobe Bridge. Um, it's very simple. I always used to create them in Photoshop and they used to take a lot of time until um, somebody showed me how to do this. So what I'm going to do first of all is select the file that I want to um, choose to make a contact sheet from. Then you go to output. Now here we are, you can see that already I have a canvas and I can change, there's a template on the top right hand side where you can change um, as me, you know, the, the um, number of uh, images that you can have on your contact sheet. You can check here, the page size is A4, background color is white. You can change it to landscape or portrait. Uh, resolution is 300 PPI. And the thumbnail placement, you can, you can choose how you want to do this. So uh, also here you have the file name. And the, the font for the file name, Arial, and the regular size font. Now what I usually do is I go to Grids and Margins, and I will increase the number of columns that I have. So if I want to have six columns and six rows, that actually looks far too, too many for me. So I will probably go with three columns and maybe four rows. You can change the, the space of these cells. You can make them smaller, which again is something that I usually do. So you just adjust it to whatever you, you want to. Um, you can have margins if you want. You can have use auto spacing. Now you can see that it automatically changes it. If you want to have a headline, a header, you can put in here. Um, I'm going to put uh, farm shoot December 2020 on there. You can also have a footer if you want a footer. And again, you can change those sizes. Um, if you're going to make several pages, you can include a page number. And if you want to, which is something I never do, you can put a watermark on. So here I will put Jen Effer Ren Photography, which is my business name. You can select an image as well if you want for the watermark. So I'll add text watermark. Um, and then you can again here, you can choose where you're going to place it over your images. PDF properties I've never really looked at. So here we go. You just drag your images, the ones that you want, and place them onto uh, your contact sheet. Of course, you can change the size of this gallery if you want to. So you can see more images. And you can also keep the file names or not, depending on what you want to do. So here we go. I tend to, what I tend to do, I'm quite organized. I, I tend to, um, place all my portrait images together and I'll make a portrait contact print, contact sheet or landscape. Again, I would put my landscape images. I, I just like uh, to see it look organized. Um, now here, if you go to document, you can include the file name and include the file extension or remove it. It uh, is entirely up to you whether you know it's helpful for you to have that extension or not. And then you just export to PDF. Um, where will I save it? I'll just save it for now onto my desktop. 
and I will call it farm shoots contact sheet number one and save. It generates the PDF and then if you want to go again you just reset it to blank. And that is a fairly simple way to make a contact sheet.